Hi. In, in this lecture, we are going to deal with press statistic for multiple regression. Press, nothing but predicted residual sum of square statistics, which is used to judge the efficacy of a multiple regression model. Typically, we use R square, R square adjust to judge the efficacy of of the multiple regression model however to judge its predictive capacity or its predictive power we use a statistic called press press is calculated by deleting one of observation from the data and predicting that observation after that we find the residual between the predicted observation and the deleted observation and then those residuals are and added up for all the data example we have 10 data then first time we remove the first data predict uh, the model with the remaining data and predict the first data thereby find the residual similarly this is carried out for the all 10 data points that lets that when then when you sum up all the residuals we get the press statistic press statistic is used to calculate the r predicted which is nothing which measures the predictive capacity of the model conventionally uh, spss does not calculate press softwares like minitab can calculate this statistic easily we in this demonstration we use the software minitab i have already loaded the data here now i go to statistic go to basic regression sorry regression go to regression in the response variable is the in the a dependent variable in this case c c20 that is our customer satisfaction and the independent variables are from x6 to x18 plug it in then i select in graph here we have an uh, option of choosing all four graphs from histogram normal plot residual and residual versus order in options we can we have to check in the box press and predicted r square the vif variance inflation factor for multi collinearity studies and one of another important concept in this option is the lack of fit test which is one of the important test for judging the efficacy of the model so we check in the pure error and also the data subsetting yes the model is work going working if you look at the probability plot uh, the data is hugging the diagonal however towards the beginning and towards the end there is a small trend however we look at the fitted value as a residual all the data are uh, of the positive half of the data and negative half of the data is almost the same thus suggesting no trend same is the case with the order of obs observation and the residuals. Now let us look at the R square. R square is 80.84 or 80 percent in, in this case whereas R adjusted is 0.774. This press statistics comes to around 36.1575 usually the lower the press statistic the better the model however considering the variability in the data this press statistics is quite good also our predictive model the predictive capacity of the model is around 0.742 in other words 74.2 percent accurate our predictive model is however when you look at for the lack of fit 
we come to know that variable x level is having possibly a curvature in the mod in the variable and that is leading to some interaction effect also at that time we have to check whether x11 is significant if you look at it the p value of x11 is 0.178 this indicates it's not significant so if we throw out that that value we can reasonably estimate our lack of fit test so in this case we come down to x6 till 10 I take I remove that variable x11 then I take the remaining variable another approach would be only to take the significant variables however is the demonstration so I take the entire thing for ease if you look at down the lack this residual suggests there is no lack of fit that means uh, this data at 0.1 significant level is completely fitting the observed or independent variables hence the multiple regression model is confirmed to be significant at 0.1 level thank you